Hey guys, thanks for tuning into Cam Curl. This video is an in-depth tutorial about the Samsung's new AI features, their applicabilities and the use cases. If you are planning to buy one of these phones, then this video will help you make your decision. And if you already have the phone, then it will help you best utilize these AI features in real world. So either way, stay tuned and watch till the end. And if you want to watch the full review, click on uh, top right hand corner link. Before we start the demonstration, let's get into its uh, deep settings. Under advanced intelligence, you will find different settings and options that you can enable or disable. As you notice here, by default, Hindi and English languages are downloaded for me. You can download more languages from the available list. Currently, the language support is limited and you may not see all the Indian languages there. Okay, pay attention here. You can also choose to restrict the AI processing to your device rather than using the online processing. I will cover its limitation towards the end, but remember this can be done. Well, let's jump into the software part and much hyped Samsung's new AI features. Out of the box, this comes with Android version 14 and uh, on top of that One UI 6.1. And the exciting thing is Samsung has promised major Android upgrades for 7 years, if at all you are planning to use it for that long. It has all the standard options from Samsung like multi-window, edge panels, customizable notification panel, etc. I won't get into in-depth of UI as it's a standard and pretty much remains same with uh, minor changes with each upgrade. Rather, I will show you in detail what is new in uh, One UI 6.1 and what is this advanced intelligence all about and remember this ai is not artificial intelligence rather it's advanced intelligence now the most advertised uh, circle to search feature you can do it from any screen irrespective of whether you're on a gallery or a home page or a web page just tap and hold the home button and it will uh, open the search for you just circle the part you want to search and you can do it and while searching uh, at the top, if you press and hold, then it will shrink and uh, lets you search more. This is my favorite uh, feature. You can move the objects from one picture to another picture without many hassles. You can copy paste them, you can edit them, you can resize and the AI will automatically adjust the background according to your needs. That is amazing and this is really powerful too. And as it's an AI manipulation, it will add a small AI watermark to legalize the thing and then show that this is not original picture. That's a good thing. Now you can create your own wallpapers using the AI. There are some predefined uh, parameters. Using the different combinations, you can create whatever you want color and the scenery and uh, the objects etc so it, it's pretty handy it works well it has the call translation feature but it's not reliable because the way we use our languages too many slangs etc I, I hardly doubt it can uh, you know give good results in india you can see it right now in front of you The keyboard has this uh, writing assistant in a few of the supported uh, chat applications like messages, WhatsApp, etc. where you will get some suggestions on how the way you want to message. You also have a grammar check which is really powerful. I just typed the wrong sentence here and then I click on here and then uh, it, it gives the exact sentence that, that I should be writing. There is chat translation option as well uh, which you can chat, you know, translate within the app itself but it has limited language options so far. You can also use your Galaxy device like an interpreter. Hi, bhai, kya kar rahe ho? I am having dinner, what about you? Well, that's pretty close. Samsung Notes app has these four uh, options, auto format, summarize, translate and uh, correcting the spellings. 
so not all of them work perfectly but it, it it's a beginning yeah this will come in handy if you have a voice memo recorded already then you can transcribe them translate them and also summarize them i'm not sure about the translation and uh, summarization because they're not accurate it has similar options for the web pages too but it never worked for me the if the website is little complicated and there is a lot of text it will fail to translate or summarize now you can set the background for the alarms that's really neat and this is how it looks once you set it and the last ai feature uh, i want to showcase this is my favorite one so while in the gallery if you have recorded any video you can just tap and hold on it to see the slow motion version of it this really helps people like us who make a lot of videos in slow mo etc and if you like that uh, slow mo pace then you can just click on the edit button and then you can you have different options to play around and save the video in slow motion now the most commonly asked question do all these ai features work offline well yes and no you can restrict it to process on the device itself but most of the features won't work only basic photo editing and grammar correction will work but if you need other functionalities then you have to be online and it will process the data on cloud now let me summarize my whole experience with ai samsung's one ui definitely adds productivity to the phone New AI features are really exciting fun to play with and they are really good but don't base your buying decision entirely on AI because these are softwares and can be added in any kind of phone in the future in real world we also might not use them on a regular basis hope this detailed review help you make your decisions we have put a lot of effort so please do share this video and subscribe to our channel and we'll be back with more exciting reviews